making this simple cookies for a while but now I had an idea what if I color them with the powders that I already have some cherry powder and I have some pitaya powder so I'm going to just play around with that and to see what will happen if I add this to it flavor wise and just how it will look It kept the shape very nicely but the pink color kind of faded away and turned into a little bit of a brownish color so it wasn't as vibrant as I was expecting it. I'm going to pack some sandwich for Joad for lunch and lately it's been getting easier to make the bread because I started to measure out all the dry ingredients into a jar so it speeds up the process that I only have to measure out the wet ingredients and I just dump all the dry ones from the jar into the bread maker machine and it definitely something I want to keep up doing. I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into I bought this awesome attachment to my drawers a few years ago and I love this It can fit into my drawer and I can just put it on the top of the drawer I had some leftover veggies in the refrigerator and also I added some mushrooms because that's the only food that has vitamin D and since we have so many cloudy days I thought I'm just going to add this to my breakfast we've been in this rainy season for seven or eight months now I don't know I don't even count <laughs> but I'm very very ready to see some sunshine and since it's a little bit warming up I'm going to wash all the thicker sweatshirts and once they are clean I'm gonna be able to put them away but I definitely want to clean them before I put them into boxes because bugs just attract to dirt and they can damage the natural fibers and using some lavender on the side it's probably a good idea not just to make it smell good but it will keep away the bugs as well Claims with my name.
finishing the tidy up in this area is <laughs> cleaning up the top of my dresser usually I just toss things there what I'm supposed to be putting away or something that is in my purse so I'm just going to put everything to its place where it belongs and I'm going to reduce where I keep my jewelry because I don't have that many so I don't need that much storage Sometimes there are detours in my housework. <laughs> Sky is beautiful and so are you. I wanna make it up to you, start something new. Yeah, I've been thinking of the parts I play for you. Now I'm drinking from the bottle that. We've been on this cooking journey for a very long time and it takes extra more time and a lot more mess <laughs> especially when they were little but as they're getting older it's getting easier so there's hope <laughs> prefer to air dry my knitted shirt and the thickest one will go on the top of the dryer because it's always warm when I'm using it so that will have to dry it faster
if you have a very greasy and yucky container like I do <laughs> it's very easy to clean it just put some baking soda in there with a little bit of a dish soap and a little bit of a water and just shake it up and that will scrape off everything on from the side so I don't have to put my dishwasher rag in there and that kind of just gets very greasy when I do that so this is a perfect way to clean it and also I use the leftover ghee to dissolve the glue that I had on this jar to clean my swilling bags I have two methods and one is to use my kitchen rag and I just put some dish soap in there and basically I just do it from the outside <laughs> so I don't get all soapy until my elbow the other one is to use my very much loved brush it's a soft brush and that helps me to get into the corner to get it clean but i don't get that wet on my arm For those plants that love water, I like to put them into the kitchen sink and just soak them very well because that way all the roots can get watered everywhere. Since we had mice visitors in the garage, I didn't feel comfortable to keep the shoes there. So I put it into the laundry room, but it was kind of in the way because I want to dry the clothes there. So I moved everything into this closet and basically I just piled them up on the floor. <laughs> so now Joad is going to cut a shove here and install it. It's amazing when things are just piled up how much more it can look like and versus when it's organized they look less.
I only turned away for just a little bit and <laughs> dirty dishes are again piling up in the sink. The sun came out for five minutes, <laughs> so I'm going to just simply fold outside. I'm going to bring out my chores to the sunshine so I can at least enjoy it and soak up some vitamin D. There are many reasons why I like to fold on an ironing board. I like that it's not slippery, so it's easy to adjust uh, the fabric that it's tempt to twist on the sides, but also I can change the location and I can fold everywhere I want to. <laughs> like this cookie cutter with a flower pattern so now I'm going to use it for something that is salty <laughs> and I have some cooked potatoes from the refrigerator and I just added a few ingredients and I just created a dough with that and I'm going to cut out the flower shapes and I'm going to fry them
head up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. The moon is bright, let's have some fun. Oh, this is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!